Ernest Hemingway may be dead, but his tradition lives on through the voice of this amazing writer. Years ago, uh, when I first was getting into publishing, there was a new writer uh, who wrote a book that everybody was talking about. The writer was Sebastian Younger, and the book was The Perfect Storm. It was a book about fishermen in New England, men risking their lives in search of swordfish. It was a terrific book. It was beautifully crafted. And from that moment on, I was a Sebastian Younger fan. And for years, I, I wanted to work with him. Finally, I got the chance when he wrote a book called War, which took you into the lives of people fighting in Afghanistan, um, uh, living together, um, trusting each other um, with a kind of intimacy and love that um, you wouldn't normally expect to read about in a work of nonfiction. His new book is simply called Freedom, and it explores the idea of freedom in all of its manifestations. He's walking along railroad tracks um, down the East Coast. You don't know why, you don't know who he's with. All you know is that it appears that he is free. We'll find out at the end of the book what's really going on in his life, and it really does pack a wallop. But for the purposes of your reading experience, all you need to know is that you're in the presence of this extraordinarily smart and lean writer. Sebastian's prose is so muscular, and that's why he reminds me of Hemingway. He doesn't waste a word, but he's exploring ideas in a really, really interesting way. Um, we're willing to die for freedom, but we're interdependent. Why and how? Obviously, after so many of the events that have been occurring in this country, I think we're thinking about democracy and freedom in a completely different way now. And Sebastian's book feels like the right book for the moment. Um, it's also just a fascinating exploration through the life and the mind of one of our great writers. So I hope you'll read Sebastian Younger's Freedom, and that is the word according to Carmen.